Oh, it's recording. Hey everyone, it is Jeremy J here, back at you with video number four of seven in this seven videos in a row series that I'm doing. I'm starting to get in the habit of doing a video every day and this is really cool. It's uh, stretching me and forcing me to draw more inspiration more quickly. Not to say that I'm inspired with every video I do, I don't think I am, but and I think this is very good. Uh, today, it's the evening right now. Man, today has been one of those whirlwind days. Like, do you ever have those days where it feels like it's this play? Like there's four acts that are part of the day and like there's this build up and then there's this struggle for three or four hours and then there's this, this relief that comes and then by the end you're ready to pass out. And that's what today has felt like for me. Um, like I've lived an entire life in one day basically and it's been uh, wild, quite a wild ride. Uh, but here I am ready to do video four and I've still got my Christmas tree up and I'll, I'll keep it up through, I don't know, maybe I just will keep it up year round. Um, what I wanted to talk today about, tonight, about and I know a lot of you want to hear my past and the doors two and three I talked about in the previous videos. I'm still letting those marinate. But what I want to talk to you about tonight is why it's so hard. Like, for those of you struggling in this situation with your twin flame, what makes it difficult? Like, why it's hard and why it's, it's easier said than done. Uh, Violet Moon left a good comment. She said, easier said than done. And it's like, yeah, that's so true. Like the difficult things in life, some of them are so difficult that you're like, if I do this, I might like lose everything. My soul might burn. Like there's some real deep fears I know for me like there's some hard choices I've made in the last few years and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna get through this I don't know if I should make this choice because gosh it's gonna be hard and I'm gonna have to rebuild from scratch um, but I want to talk about this like why things are hard and why making a hard choice in the end is better in the short term it's harder Yep, I can attest to that. So the reason a lot of you feel pain in your situations, I don't know why I'm doing this, but it feels good. It's comfortable, it makes my neck feel better, so I'm gonna do it. The reason, <laughs> the reason that things are hard for many of you, and they've been hard for me in the past, not, and they're hard for me even as I go forward, is because you're holding on to something, you're, you're holding on to this view of reality that's not happening. And so here's reality, Christmas tree, the door, my cats, how people are behaving and acting, the current state of the world, the economy, everything. There's a reality that's going on around us. And life becomes hard whenever you want the reality of people and situations to be different than it currently is. So let that sink in. Let, think about that statement. Life becomes hard. You become unhappy when you want reality to be different than what it presently is. And I struggled with this today. Like, I battled this lesson um, right down here, whoosh, down my arm, like this. Like there's a, there's a nerve, there's a lot of discs in my neck. There's a nerve being pinched, causing my arm to be weak and in constant pain. Like even as I'm doing this video and earlier today, I was like, damn this thing. Like what the fuck? Like I was like, I was pissed off like at what was going on. And it's hard because when you're in pain, like it sucks. When you're in nauseating pain, like I think part of my digestion problems is just the nauseating nerve pain I'm having from my spinal issues and anxiety. But I took a step back 
and even right now as I'm doing this video, funny enough, I'm taking a step back and I'm saying, my spine is what it is. Like, there's a video by a guy, what's his name? He was like a professor at Carnegie Mellon or something like that, and he passed away um, several years ago from pancreas cancer, which spread to his other organs. And he's, he said something very insightful. He said, you cannot change the hand you are dealt, only how you play the hand. And if I, I'm going to link in the description of this YouTube video to a video of his because it's very powerful. Like he had a few months to live. Like his, his entire like lower digestive system, liver, pancreas, intestines was tumored up with cancer. Like in the end, it just got like cancer just consumed it. He was on hospice like when it got severe and he died. But he did a series of speeches, one to Oprah Winfrey, just various other, there's, there's speeches, his final speech. And uh, he had such a good attitude and he wasn't delusional. He was like, I have tumors all over my lower body, mid, in my abdomen. And he was like very clear and he said, it sucks. And then he said, but, Moving forward, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare my family for it. I'm going to live out the, my life the best I can. And that was super powerful. And the reason I mentioned that, and I'll link it in the description of this video, one of his videos. The reason I mentioned that is reality is a certain way. Like even if we chose the reality we have and our choices were not the best choices, we're in the situation we're in, regardless of whether we chose it or not, regardless if someone like did us wrong or if we just were idiots and made bad choices, the, the result is the same. We're in the situation we are in moving forward. Now we have the choice to say, okay, this is the way things are. I can keep doing the things in the past that have caused me to suffer or I can change my approach. And so what I implore those of you to do, twin flames and not, is to look at your life and the situation you're in and say, this is how it is. Maybe you're super angry and pissed off at your twin flame or your situation or your circumstance. Okay. Great. So emote that. I am pissed off at this, this, and this. My situation is this, this, and this, and it sucks. Great. That's okay. Like, be at peace with the reality that is, no matter how shitty it might be. I'm doing the same thing right now. My nerves are pretty fucked up. <laughs> I might need a neck surgery. Um, life is a struggle physically right now. Okay, great. The truth has been emoted. Now moving forward, what can I do? What medicine can I take? What specialist can I see? Meditation, exercise, healthy eating, all these things. Great. That's my plan to try and turn the reality that is into something better. And for those of you in this twin flame situation where you're having difficulty, just acknowledge that you're pissed off and then Say, okay, I'm having this difficulty and frustration with the other person. Why? Uh, a lot of times it's because you're holding on to the fantasy of the situation, being a certain way with that other person, and you've got to let go. You're hanging on, oh, there we go. You're hanging on to this helicopter bar, and you're hanging on for dear life. You've got to release it and allow yourself to be removed from the situation. You've got to let go. Let go. I've said it before, cease contact, move on with your life. And that's so hard to do. I've said it in other videos. Letting go is so hard when you feel this deep connection. Let go while you feel the deep connection. Let go while you're in love. Let yourself cry and wail like a banshee, like just cry in your pillow if it takes a year 
do it. When I share my story, I'll give a little teaser to how I was able to move past my situation. Not that I don't think of the other person still, I do, but how I was able to move on, I let go of the helicopter thing and I let myself cry for quite some time, wailing, flooding my car with tears, like this is just a little teaser that I'll share eventually, but I eventually, after doing that long enough, I got past it. But it was a hard, short-term thing to do. I had to pay a price in the short term to get there. So for those of you in this situation, you know the answer. Like, I'm not going to sit here and preach to you. You know the answer when when it's not happening, when that person isn't being responsive, when they're not reciprocating, you know the answer, and it is to let go. Easier said than done. Yeah, you're gonna have to cry. You're gonna have to feel like there's a knife in your gut. I went through it. I'm alive, sort of. <laughs> Maybe I'm undead at this point, I don't know. But you can do it, you can get through it. And on the other side is newfound strength that you never knew you had. Got it? This is Jeremy J's lesson for you, for those of you struggling and why the situation is so hard. Gotta let go, accept reality as it is, and be at peace with that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. I really, really do appreciate all of you. You're awesome. I love the comments you leave and the interaction between all of you. It's, it's good. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.